Well, greetings everybody from Cebu City. I'm standing here at, in some ways, the, the beating heart of Filipino spirituality and religion because I'm standing by Magellan's cross. When Ferdinand Magellan came here in 1521, he brought with him a cross. It was planted right here where I'm standing. Currently, it's encased in a cross, but the original one is in there. And it, it really struck me as very moving this morning as I stood here thinking that this vibrant Filipino faith, evident here, but also all over the world. Filipino Catholics I've known all over the world. All of it began right here at this spot. Magellan brings the faith and he uh, manages to baptize the king and queen, the local authorities, and about 800 other people. And that was the beginning of uh, Christianity in the Philippines. Uh, Magellan was killed that very year in 1521 and some of his uh, men went back to Spain. Others returned and, and circumnavigated the globe. But what's really interesting to me is the spiritual power of a place like this. I just a few minutes ago saw a group of, uh, of elderly ladies who were doing a traditional dance of supplication to Santo Nino. Now Santo Nino we'll see in a few minutes. It was a little statue of a child Jesus that Magellan brought over from Europe. And now it's the center of this, this extremely intense devotion here in the Philippines. So it's very moving to me to be in this place and to think of what came in God's providence. From the you know, expedition of Magellan and, and through all sorts of different circumstances, planting the faith here, which now you know, vibrantly is spread around the world. Just in a um, hour or so, we're going to go into the Basilica here where the Santo Nino is, and we'll have Mass. Today is also the Feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, as you know, one of my great spiritual heroes, one of the patrons of Word on Fire. So a lot of um, you know, vibrant spiritual realities are, are floating around in my mind today. And then at one o'clock this afternoon, I'm gonna to go to a uh, kind of a basketball arena, not too far from here. And I'll be addressing, I think, three or 4,000 uh, young people. And I'll be talking to them about uh, the spiritual life. And with that, my uh, formal involvement with the, uh, the IEC will come to a close. But boy, will this place stay vividly in my memory. So pray for us as we head home uh, tomorrow. And uh, keep following us on the web. We'll give you another couple updates. And uh, God bless you all.